when I was writing Evergreen Vietnamese, I wanted to have a healthy way to make imperial rolls. They're typically fried, but the recipe in the book is for oven frying. But you know what? You may need a little bit of extra help to get through manipulating the rice paper, and this video is going to help you. All right, it's kind of a messy job, but what you're going to do is first wet the smooth side of the rice paper all the way to the edge. Really paint and slather it off. Overlap them a little bit because the rice paper can dry and it can bend on the edge. So I let them overlap slightly. Finish with the rough side up. And because this is my first one, I'm going to let it overlap like that so that when I'm done, that one will be the first one that I wrap. And the cutting board will get sufficiently dirty and already looking. Let's place some of the filling there. If it's a little crumbly, that's not a problem. Just transfer it over. It seems like a little bit too much filling. in the lower third of the rice paper. Bring up the bottom, tuck it under, roll once, full roll, roll again, bring up the top. If you have any strange bits, knock them off. Here's a piece, just get rid of that. Press down the sides. Pull them in and roll to finish. And there you are. These rolls are called Nam Rang in the north, Jia Ram in the central region, and Jia Za in the south. The last term is the most popular, so that's why I use it. My filling's a little dry today, but yours will be a little more moist than this, and that'll be great. Bring everybody up. We're down here in the lower third. And bring up the flap, the edge, tuck it under, move little bits over, roll it once, roll, roll, roll it twice. The flaps on the outside over and then you are done. And if it seems like there is a little bit of exposure there, you can just smooth it out. Okay, these are ready to cook or to keep for a future date with Jazza. I hope you enjoy the vegetarian and shrimp recipes in Evergreen Vietnamese. And when you make them up, please don't forget to tag me because I would love to see where you take the recipes from Evergreen Vietnamese. Thanks a lot. See you later.